Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to Rosewood. Um, I've been requested several times now to do a daily routine sort of tour. So I figured why not? You guys want it. I don't mind filming it. So to start off every day I pretty much take out my shovel and pretty much almost patrol around the town. I kind of weave up and down in order to try and find all the fossils, um, maybe some hidden, uh, not hidden, lost items, stuff like that. Um, well, also, I chat to my villagers, and as you guys can see, rosewood obviously filled completely with roses. I don't keep any other flowers unless it's down on the beach. That being said, both of my beaches are full, so I've taken to uh, digging up any random flowers that aren't roses that I find around town. So you guys will probably see me doing that today. Another thing about this video, if you couldn't tell already, completely unscripted, no clue what I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, I figure you guys wanted to watch it, so I don't mind showing you guys what I pretty much do every time I play this game. Um, another thing I'm going to be doing here is checking for the money rock. Obviously, it appears every day in town. Sometimes I'm kind of lazy and I don't find it, but I've gotten to the point in the game where it's not really um, a necessity for me to find the money rock. I have enough bells to definitely pay off all my loans. I'm just being kind of a Scrooge about it and not paying them all off right away. Um, I figured we can also talk to my villagers along the way. Obviously, Kyle, he is lovely. I really enjoy him. He's one of my favorite new villagers. And it looks like he's gonna ask me for a perfect fruit. Yes, indeed. <laughs> he, uh, he's definitely asking for a lot there just because, for whatever reason, I haven't been able to get a perfect fruit in my town in the longest time. And it's not just this town, it's the town before this one as well. Um, for whatever reason, I just every I keep continually plant my native fruit, and for whatever reason, I just never get a perfect fruit. So I have no perfect oranges in this town, even though my native fruit is oranges. And it's kind of upsetting, because I really would like some perfect fruit trees around town. Especially when, like, you know, villagers like Kyle ask for it. Um, so we're just heading up into this kind of dead-end area. I really don't like this area at all yet. I'm kind of working on it. But um, I know that there's nothing back behind those trees over there, specifically because I've planted flowers in the blind spots back there. Just kind of necessary in a town that's as um, overgrown as mine. So we found the first fossil of the day. Lately, I've only been finding three instead of the daily four, which means I've lost one somewhere around town. I'm sure I'll find it again sometime. And I have fallen in a pitfall, but I prefer to have it uh, be destroyed underneath me rather than picking it up and having it in my inventory, because it does me absolutely no good. Here is Prince. I love his nickname for me. He came up with Cookie just the other day, and I think it's adorable. <laughs> He wants me to suggest furniture to him. In other words, bring furniture to him. So that's something that we'll get to do later. I just dug a hole instead of talking to her. Whoops. <laughs> and Elise, what do you want today? Okay, she's just gonna. I've I've played this game for so long. I just have to read usually the first few lines of of dialogue, and I already know what they're gonna say or what they're gonna ask. <laughs> that's what just happens. Here's the gem rock. It comes to something when you've played in your town for so long that you know where all of your rocks are so you can tell which one immediately is the gem rock because it's not in the right place or something like that. But I believe I've been in this town for about two and a half years which isn't that long compared to some people who have had their town for, you know, ever since the day this game released, obviously. Here's Cobb. He is wearing a Mario shirt that he kind of scrounged off me at one point. I feel really bad saying no to them so that they ask for something from my inventory. I generally give it to them. <laughs> um, behind the cafe I know it's covered with flowers so I don't really have to check too much. It's kind of funny, when I, whenever I've played this game around my friends and I've been doing um, my daily stuff like I am right now, uh, they always comment that it looks really... Um, well, it makes them dizzy to see me constantly flipping the camera up to check behind everything. But uh, that's just something I have to do if I want to be able to find the fossils, honestly. No fossils there. No money rock in that one. <laughs> Passing through my Canadian flag here. Not very well done, unfortunately. I'm still not sure exactly how I could fix it. 
And unfortunately that one is not the mine rock. There's a gold or a silver slingshot, which I already have. Don't need it. And there is another fossil that makes number two out of probably three that we'll find today. If I get really lucky, we may find the fourth one. Um, my town is a little bit covered in trees right now, unfortunately. Um, I need to do a little bit of uh, trimming, I guess you could say, just because I have a few too many, I think. But uh, I'm slowly working on it. My town, as always, is still a work in progress. Um, whoops. Let's just bang on his door with a shovel, shall we? This is Chief's house. He is my second uh, dog-like villager. I don't know if you'd exactly call Kyle a dog. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be a dog or a coyote or a wolf or something. Chief is pretty cute. I quite like him. For whatever reason, though, he's usually in his house. I rarely see him come out, and I don't know why that is. It just seems that with certain villagers, um, they like to stay inside. And I've also noticed that for whatever reason, I have one villager pretty much in every save file who tends to get sick more than the others. I don't know why that is. <laughs> for the longest time in this town, it was Goldie, but now Goldie has um, unfortunately moved away. Which is a little bit upsetting. All right, so need to get rid of these two tulips. Do not want don't have space for them. I should really go down to the beach and just run through everything, but uh, that probably won't happen for a while just because I'm lazy. And there is our third fossil. Okay, so that was my sweep of the town. I know the other areas that I kind of skimmed over, I know for a fact that they're fully covered in flowers so I don't even have to bother checking there. Um, and I figure if I haven't spoken to my residents or my villagers before now, they're probably either up on Main Street or um, just wandering around town where I haven't seen them yet, like in the, in the retail shop, for example. So now, second part of my day is going up to the museum, getting the fossils that I found um, assessed, <laughs> and basically being told, yes, we already have them, go ahead and take them so that I can go and sell them, basically. One thing I'm pretty happy about is the fact that they've really trimmed back Blather's dialogue. If you've played any of the older games, you know how much he loved to talk. <laughs> he, uh, he definitely had a lot to say about every little thing that you handed him. And uh, it makes it even better now because I can hand him fossils or anything um, in multiples rather than one at a time. <laughs> Anybody who played New Leaf first doesn't know how easy they got it. Alright, so let's head back to retail, which is our next stop. Generally, I like to do all these daily things and get them all out of the way before I actually, like, you know, um, do villager requests or um, buy anything, that kind of stuff. Like, actually play the game, maybe catch some bugs or some fish. Currently, I have the beautiful town ordinance on, so basically I don't have to plant or not plant, I don't have to water any of these flowers, which makes it so much more easy to care for the town, but at the same time I'm not going to get as many bells for selling these fossils and the various other items I have in my inventory right now. <laughs> So I'm just going to sell all of these. I already have over my bell or my wallet limits. So that means my next stop is probably going to have to be up on Main Street into the post office. Basically, we're going to go to the post office so that I can put uh, all, this, all these bells into my current loan that I have right now. Um, I'm not fully done paying off my house just yet. I do actually have the bills to do it in my account. I just, I don't know, once I get beyond a certain point, I'd like that to be my new zero, for example. If I had a million bells in the bank, that is my new zero. I do not want to go below one million ever again, right? So I just, I always do that in video games. So I, uh, I save up enough and I put in, you know, maybe a thousand or so. 
But uh, I figure first, since we have all the money, why don't we stop by the shopping places, so uh, TNT Emporium or the Able Sisters, and buy what we want first, <laughs> go on a little shopping spree, treat ourselves, and then we'll go deposit whatever we have left over. Generally, I don't really buy too much. I've definitely got a lot of items in the game that I want already. Um, I'm more likely to go into the um, Happy Home, I think it's Showcase, I believe that's what it's called, and buy the items directly from there, receive it the next day in the mail. It just is a lot more easy for me that way. Although I'm kind of being tempted by this table right now for my kitchen. Still a huge work in progress. You guys know if you've visited my dream town or if you've uh, watched my town tour video. <laughs> um, generally, I don't go up to Gracie Grace. I'm not really interested in her items at all. <laughs> I may buy stuff in the future, but right now I don't have any need for any of that stuff. Gala is in here. She is a new villager who is a very strong favorite of mine. She is adorable. I really like her quite a lot. Okay, so nothing I'm really too interested in here. I'm very, very picky about what my character wears in this game, so I tend to just wear the same outfit for like months at a time and then finally change it. Um, but speaking of new stuff, these kind of look like they'd fit me a bit better than my current glasses, given that I've changed my glasses IRL very recently. Um, the ones I'm wearing on my character right now look a little bit closer to uh, what I used to look like. So I think these fit me a little bit better, what do you guys think? Okay, so let's get out of here, shall we? I generally don't... Uh, bother going to kicks. I have a really nice pair of shoes that I do like. I did buy them from Gracie Grace. That's like the only thing I've bought from her. Um, but now I think we should head over to the post office and uh, deposit the rest of this money. We didn't spend a lot, so that's great. I think I have a loan of about 400,000 in there currently. So I guess we'll put 100,000 towards it and save the other 20,000 for us right now. There we go, perfect. Okay, so moving on, the next thing, and I always, I try to at least, I try to always do this every day for you guys, is I go to the Dream Suite and I update my Dream Town. And I've been hearing a lot of people have been getting new Dream addresses, so I think that may be something that's happening today. I don't know if it's an update or whatever, but for whatever reason. <laughs> so I figure let's go and uh, let's go and update this, shall we? This way, if you guys would like to visit, you are more than welcome to. I had so many, so many wonderful people who have visited um, beforehand, and I don't know if it's going to change my dream address, but I know that if it does, it won't tell us the exact number who it visited beforehand, but I know it was a lot of people, so thank you guys very much. And I have a feeling this may take a while, so I'm just going to cut out here, and uh, I will see you guys on the other side of this. Okay, so looks like we have a new dream address. What was I telling you guys? <laughs> so there it is. I'm gonna have to change the thumbnail for my other Dreamtown visit video so you guys will be able to have access to it whenever you want. That's gonna be a little bit of a hassle. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so those were the main things that I generally tend to do every day. From now on, pretty much it's just me playing the game as I normally would, which is mainly I do a lot of fishing, a little bit of bug catching in the summer. Um, I run a lot of errands for my villagers also, for sure. But uh, but that is about it. Sometimes I uh, 
I do a little flower planting and one thing in particular I've been doing recently is I've been trying once again from scratch to get the uh, blue rose. So here is my little place where I've been trying to breed hybrid red roses, which is such a hassle. <laughs> I have two so far and they're planted elsewhere, but I'm trying to save up a whole bunch so I can just maximize my chances as it were. This should not be here. This is not what I need here. <laughs> I'm just gonna go place this down here for now. Kind of fits in next to the golden roses. But anyways, you guys, thank you very much for watching my daily routine. I know it's a little bit random. It's very unscripted, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.